Hello everyone. Uh, here today we are going to discuss uh, indirect method of measuring small distances. We have already seen the indirect methods of measuring long distances, very long distances. Now for very small distances such as to measure the radius of an atom. So we need some indirect method because directly it is not possible. So let us see what are the methods that we can consider. The first way that we are going to consider here is Avogadro's hypothesis. You can see here we consider a particular volume. You can see this volume. In this volume you see some of the spaces are empty. Now the total volume occupied by the substance and the actual volume occupied by the atoms of the substance are different. The total volume occupied is more but the actual volume is less. Avogadro said that the actual volume is the two-third of the total volume. Whatever is the total volume, if V is the total volume then the actual value will be two-third of the total volume V. That is Avogadro's hypothesis and on the basis of this we are going to find the radius of the atom. So let us see how it can be done. We are considering a sample of molecule. Okay, Sample of substance uh, having mass M and volume V. Now capital M is considered as the atomic or the molecular mass of the substance and n represents the Avogadro's number that is the number of atoms present in one mole of the substance. Now since m is the atomic number uh, atomic mass so m grams of the substance have number of atoms that is Avogadro's number which is given by n. You have done it in chemistry also. So therefore one gram of the substance the number of atoms will be n by m. It is simple unitary method for m grams it is n so for 1 gram it will be n by m. So therefore for m grams, m grams is the mass of the substance of the sample we, which we have taken. So m grams will have number of atoms for 1 gram it is n by m so for m grams it will be multiplied by m so we will get the total uh, number of atoms present in m grams okay now the actual volume of the atoms for a single atom the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius which we are going to calculate for a single atom the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube therefore for the total number of atoms which are present in m grams the actual volume will be the numbers into the volume that is 4 by 3 pi r cube into n by m into small m. So this gives you the actual volume. Now according to the Avogadro's hypothesis the actual volume is two third of the total volume occupied. The total volume occupied is given by V. This is the volume which the sample occupies having a mass m and rho as the density so the volume V can be written as mass m small m upon the density rho. So for this volume V we are putting here m by rho and the equation you can see here small m will cancel out from both the sides and uh, 2 and here 4 is there so they will also cancel out. Uh, 3 and 3 will also cancel out and so we will be finally left out with r cube which will be given by m by 2 pi and rho. So the value of r will be cube root of uh, m by 2 pi and rho that is we can also write it in this form as shown here in the final result. So we have seen here how indirectly we can actually calculate the value of the radius of an atom by using Avogadro's hypothesis. So I hope this is clear. Any doubt you can post the doubts. Thank you.